So, yung first natin, <laughs> okay, well, ako curious tuloy. Okay, is uh, IFRS number 5. Ayan. Okay, dalawang part to, no? Uh, mas maganda nga sana kung unahin natin yung non-current asset held for sale. And then ito, yung discontinued operation. Kasi may characteristics dito, nakasama dito eh, sa discontinued operation. Okay? But because ito yung inuna, so wala na tayong magagawa, no? So pagka discontinued operation class, uh, sana alam nyo ito, no? Itong term na ito, itong component of an entity. Okay, this one, pakihanap na lang or research na lang yung term. Okay, uh, merong part ng definition, ano, na operations and cash flows that can be distinguished from the rest of the entity. Okay, medyo lang kasi redundant kasi ulitin ulit, ang discontinued operation can be number one, a separate line of business, no? So in other words, a business segment. Okay, o kaya naman, Geographical area of operations. So, number two, geographical segment. Okay? And number three, isang subsidiary na inacquire with a view to resale. Yan. Yan plus yung mga nagqualify as discontinued operations. No? Number one, separate line of business. So, two words na lang. Anong BS? business segment. Geographical area of operations. Okay? And lastly, a subsidiary acquired with exclusive view for resale. Okay? Sila lang ha, ang pwedeng mag-qualify as discontinued operation. So, hindi pwede kunwari, no? An entity dispose half of this business segment. Hindi pwede yun. Kailangan 100% ang binenta. Okay, o kaya naman sabihin, the company reorganize a business segment. Hindi yon, kailangan merong ano, disposal. Okay? So, itong tatlong to, para mag-qualify as a discontinued operation, so binanggit ko na, either, ayan, disposed of, so binenta na, past tense, okay, o kaya naman, classified as held for sale. So, mabalik ako dito ngayon para hitting two birds no? with one stone lang. Pag sinabi mo, class, na classified as held for sale, so, number one, nandiyan na yung intention to sell, although, syempre, sa standards natin, medyo mas malalim yung ginagamit na description. Ang ginagamit, class, na description doon, just listen, you don't have to write this down. Okay? Instead of saying that the entity intends to sell the non-current asset, the term used there is that its carrying amount will be recovered through sale rather than continued use. Okay? You follow everyone. Okay? Instead of saying uh, intention to sell, the carrying amount will be recovered through sale rather than continued use. Okay? Tapos, Number two, available for sale in its immediate condition. Okay? And then finally, number three, ito, familiar kayo dito sa word na to, the sale is highly probable. Ayan. Okay? So, ito yung reason, no? Ito, ito mismo, itong number 3 na to, itong HP na to. Kung bakit, itong asset na to, if you can still remember, ang classification niya is current assets. Kasi, marirealize na into cash within 12 months. Eh. Tama ba ako? So, ito, ha, binabalikan ko, no? Lahat kasi sa accounting class related, na hindi mo maiwasan eh. Okay? Remember, ha? Ito yung nag-iisang exception sa mga current assets natin. Kasi meron tayong limang criteria. Okay? Yung mga cash, prepaid expenses, inventory. Ito yung naiiba. Kasi nga, the sale is highly probable. Okay? So, mabalik ako dito, ha? Ang discontinued operation, business segment, geographical segment, or subsidiary, 
acquired with a view to resale na ano na benta na or ano classified as held for sale and mapunta ako dito anong ibig sabihin ng classified as held for sale okay intention to sell available for sale in immediate condition and the sale is ano highly probable okay so either ulit ah na benta na siya or classified as held for sale you follow everyone Okay. Ah, pakisulat naman class ito. Unahin ko na yung hindi kasama sa mga isasolve natin. Isulat nyo mga balance sheet requirements. no? Balance sheet requirements of discontinued operations. Okay. Number one. Okay. One line item in current assets and current liabilities. Ayan. If you want to complete this, okay, separate from continuing operations. Ayan. Okay? So, yung cash ng continuing operations, cash pa rin na regular sa balance sheet. Pero yung cash ng discontinued operation, sama-sama na, kasama yung accounts receivable, PPE, and other assets, as part of the current assets na one line item lang okay, pagsasamasamahin mo ganun din sa liabilities, medyo repetition lang okay tapos, no, number two eto related ito sa gagawin natin sa income statement okay, yung assets no, lower of carrying amount or Okay? Ito ha, very important. Baka gamitin mo yung recoverable amount. Hindi mo naman gagamitin na yung assets eh. Ibebenta mo. Kaya fair value less, cost to sell lang. Ayan lang. Ah, inuna pala na current assets held for sale. Sorry class, nasanay na ako yung yun na yung discontinued. Anyway, dito na muna tayo sa page. Okay? And... Last one, yung assets, okay, itong discontinued operations na to, not depreciated. Pabago-bago yung handout natin. Eh. I've always been accustomed to na page one is discontinued operations and second page yung non-current assets. No? Anyway, we're here already. Punahin na natin to. Okay? Anong problem number yan? Problem number four. Okay, then we'll try mauna. Okay, next. Next, next, next. Ito, alam nyo na. Saan makikita, class, yung results ng discontinued operation? Huh? Sa statement of comprehensive income ba or sa income statement mismo? income statement mismo. No? Ito yung mga balance sheet requirements natin. Ha? Okay. Uh, sa income statement again, number one, no? one line item, uh, comma, net of tax, okay, after income from continuing operations. Okay? Ano lahat yung pagsasamahin natin dito? So, number one. Okay? Income minus expenses. Okay? Or yung kanyang operating income. Okay? Kasama class sa expenses na to, yung legal obligation mo to pay for termination cost or yung tinatawag natin na severance pay. Do not forget that. It has to be accrued. Okay. Next item class, letter B, uh, yung disposal, no? gain or loss on sale. Okay. And then, panghuli, as a result of this, pag mas mababa yung fair value less cost to sell, ha? mas mababa yung fair value less cost to sell, kumpara sa carrying amount, mag-recognize tayo ng impairment loss. Walang contingent gain 
as you can see, as we all know, we still apply conservatism. So you never write up, you only write down. Okay? Uh, pakikom dahil naman please yung income dyan before the plan to discontinue. Pakikom dahil din yung expenses before the plan to discontinue. No? That's a problem number four. I believe that's 35 million before and then 10 million after and then yung expenses is 25 and 12. Pakihanap naman. Saktong-sakto, para 7.30 mag-break tayo. Ah, mabilis lang naman yung time ngayon. Ay, inannounce na pala yung araw ng exam, ha? Hindi tayo apektado ng eleksyon. Parang 5, 6, 12. Oh, the other day, kasama namin yung board of accountancy. No, na habang kasabay ko sa lamesa, ako ay nagingit-ngit, no? Diba? Wala lang. Uh, I'm sure naging estudyante rin naman kayo kagaya ko. Yan, anong ginagawa natin before nung estudyante tayo? Diba? Kaaway natin, no? Lahat ng nasa admin. Tama ba, class? Yes or no? Yes. So, hindi ko maintindihan ng Tuesday nung nandun yung mga members ng Board of Accountancy, lahat ng tao gusto magpa-picture taking, uh, kinakamayan, etc. No? Diba? Uh, nawawala yung pagka-estudyante ng mga uh, tao. No? So, dapat pag gano'n, pag mag-speech, boo! No? Diba? Hindi <laughs> 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 ko yan. Parang nung nawi-weirdohan ako kasi ako galit ako sa Board of Accountancy. No? Kasi, just imagine, no? I'm sure most of you uh, know how the exam was before. Diba? Seven uh, subjects. You follow everyone? Diba? And anyone that I've asked, no? kung merong subject dun sa or subjects in the seven subjects na i-co-combine mo, uh, ano yung hindi mo i-co-combine? And everybody will say auditing problem and auditing uh, theory. Pero yun yung kinombine nila. At pagkatatanungin mo kahit sino, paghihiwalay mo ba ang discipline and application ng kasagutin na yung levels? No? Ano ba? Pero yun yung kanilang uh, pinaghiwalay. No? Wala mang lamang sa World of Accounts na sa ito. At teka lang, no? parang katangahan itong uh, ginagawa natin. At uh, parang walang nag-a-agree sa akin sa inyo. No? <laughs> Di nga class, I will never combine auditing and I will never separate. Yun yung dalawa, in real life, no? whether you're a student or you're in practice, yun yung dalawang pinaka-importante. Uh, tax is important, kaya kung pwede, tanggalin na lang yung business law. No? Diba? Yun na lang yung dapat na hindi hiniwalay. Anyway, that's only my opinion. And I was just very surprised the other day na nakikipagkamay-kamay sa mga Board of Accountancy yung mga uh, student. Oo, tatad siya kang book, no? Itong mga... Okay. Ah! Uh, magkano class yung revenues natin? Okay. Total of 45, correct? Okay. Operating expenses was 37. Okay. And then, you have your termination cost na kahit na next year pababayaran, it has to already be accrued, no? Meron ka ng legal obligation to pay for this as required by the labor code, no? Whenever you're going to shut down or discontinue your operations, no? Okay. 2 million more, 1 million. 1 million. Okay. Now, ito yung net okay, operating income mo. Uh, this is 7 million pesos. And then, merong impairment loss to be recognized. Okay. Again, ha, this is the write down to fair value less cost to sell. But I think meron lang typographical error. No? I'm sure last week may mga na-encounter na kayong typographical error. Ano yung nakasulat dyan yung 48 million? Recoverable amount ba? Okay. Pakibago naman class ha? Okay, that should be fair value less cost to sell. Kasi yung recoverable amount, yung ano yun eh, higher. No? Yung mas mataas sa fair value, less cost to sell, at saka yung value in use, no? In later na mga situations, baka ma-confuse ka dahil sa handout na to. 
di ba? Baka magamit mo yung value in you. So, uh, remember, your intention is to sell and not to use. Di ba? That's why there's only one value for the discontinued operation and non-current assets held for sale. And that is no? the fair value less cost to sell. So again, from how much? No? From 50, gagawing ano? 48. Okay, so may 2 million na impairment loss. Okay, paki-minus siya. Okay, so this is your pre-tax net amount. 5 million. Uh, wala pa nito, no? Baka kasi may may encounter kang ganito pag meron ng partial sale. Sa next problem, may ganun eh. Hindi pa fully sold. So pag merong partial gains and losses kasi unti-unti ka na nagdi-dispose, Okay, kasama rin yan dito. Pangatlong item yan dito sa baba. Okay? Ah, anong tanong? Yung pre-tax ba? Or post-tax? Okay, post-tax. Kasi ano sabi? Discontinued operations to be presented in the income statement. So, 1.5 million plus yung tax expense related dito. And therefore, answer natin. Anong letter ng 3.5 million? Okay, letter C. Okay? And then, sa next problem, hindi ko naman kayo minamadali, pero wala naman kukumpitin dyan, pakicheck naman yung realize loss from operations tsaka realize loss on sale. No? For 2019, kasi yung last two items, next year pa yung recognition. No? 8.5 for number 2. Uh, sorry, number uh, 5. No? 8.5 million. 8 million plus 500,000 na pre-tax loss from operation and loss from uh, sale. Anong letter ng 8.5? Boy. Ano? Bravo. And sa number 4 ulit, anong answer natin? Letter C. Okay. Very important pa, plus yung termination cost. No? Kasi hindi kasama sa operating expenses. Eh. Tapos, kagaya ng binanggit ko, may mga problems na lilituhin ka, ibibigay rin sa iyo yung value in use, Okay. Huwag ka na mag-compute. Isa lang ang recoverable amount ng discontinued operation at non-current asset held for sale. Okay? And that is the fair value less uh, cost to sell. Okay. Uh, sige. Uh, before we take a break, last no? problem or problems. Okay. Uh, balik tayo sa first page. Balik tayo sa first page. Ayan. Okay. Anong ginagamit class na model dito sa number one? Okay. Just remember no, to compute for the adjusted carrying amount of the non-current asset. So this standard, no, pagdating dito sa non-current asset na to, applies sa PPE and intangible assets. Ayan. Yung dalawang to lang. Okay. Yung non-current asset held for Ah, sale. Okay? So again, kailangan mong i-measure sa lower carrying amount or fair value less cost to sell. Okay? But you have to update yung depreciation or amortization. Ah, Pakitig na naman class yung problem 3 dun sa previous page natin. Anong model yung ginagamit doon? Ah, anong model yung ginagamit? Revaluation model ba? Okay. Kaya, although, again, this is jumping one and a half months ahead, no? But, I hope you can understand, no? So, kagaya, for example, kung ginagamit mo yung cost model, so, mag-debit ka ng depreciation expense, credit accumulated depreciation. Pero dun sa problem natin, Okay? Yung adjusted carrying amount niya was already given and I believe that's 5 million pesos. Okay? Pag ang ginagamit mo ito, yung revaluation model, so mag-debit ka ng land, mag-credit ka ng revaluation surplus, and para clear, ito yung OCI. Okay? And that's 5.5 million minus 5 million pesos. So 500,000 plus yung ire-record natin na revaluation surplus. Dito wala na, ito na yung kanyang carrying amount. 
Okay? Kaya, pagka kinumpare mo yung fair value less cost to sell niya, na 3.5 million yung fair value, the cost to sell is 100,000. Tama ba yung amount na sinulat ko sa board? Fair value ba is 3.5? Cost to sell is 100,000? Okay naman? Okay. So, ito yung impairment loss mo ngayon. Impairment loss. Okay. 1.6. That's for number 1. Okay. Hindi na kailangan to class ha, kasi given na yung net carrying amount na. Eh. Pero yun nga, kung cost model, kailangan mo update yung depreciation. Okay. Samantalang dito naman sa problem 3, yung fair value less cost to sell mo ay 5.5 million minus 100,000. So, 5.4. Now, ang ide-deduct mo, yung updated na carrying amount na 5.5. Kaya dito class, even though parang walang saysay na nag-revalue tayo, the rule is the rule. So, this is your impairment loss. Okay. 100,000. Ano yung follow-up question for both problems? Nabenta naman during the year, no? Tama ba ako? Magkano nabenta class yung sa number 1? 2.5 million ba yun? Okay. Magkano yun? 2.5 million minus 3.4? 900,000. Pakidagdag naman please sa number one. Pakidagdag. Uh, lagay nyo lang, uh, what if, no? what if, on December 31, the asset is not sold. Again, what if, on December 31, the asset is not sold. para pang reinforce lang ng isa pang concept na hindi kasama sa handout natin. No? So, what if on December 31, the asset is not sold and the fair value less cost to sell is 5.2 million? Yeah, the fair value less cost to sell is 5.2 million. So, ito, para makapag-break na tayo. Okay? Ang question, syempre, magkano yung gain on recovery? No? Magkano yung gain on recovery or increase in fair value less cost to sell? Ayan. Mukhang nag-iisip na kayo. Meron bang nagsasabi ang sagot ay zero? Ha? May ba, meron ba nag-iisip sa inyo ng zero? Pwede. No? Possible. Tama ba ako? Okay? May nag-iisip ba na 1.6? Ano yung 1.6? Yun yung impairment loss. Okay? Pwede rin. Diba? Kayang i-justify. Meron ba nag-iisip sa inyo ng 1.8? Diba? 5.2 minus 3.4. Ah, pwede rin. Ah, anong answer sa tatlo? 0, 1.6, or 1.8? Okay, very good, no? Kung zero, sobra mo namang conservative, no? This is an example of a change in accounting estimate. In-estimate mo lang naman yung fair value less cost to sell at the time na nag-reclassify ka. So, pag nag-increase yung fair value, pwedeng mag-recognize ng gain. Okay, kaya lang, yung gain na pwede mong i-recognize, hindi pwedeng lumampas sa impairment loss. So, hindi pwedeng 1.8 hanggang ano lang? 1.6. Okay, so remember that class, ha? Pagka balance sheet date, nag-increase yung fair value less cost to sell, pwede mag-recognize ng gain. Pero hindi pwedeng lumampas ng alin? Impairment loss. Okay? So again, answer natin dyan sa number 2 is 900,000 na loss on sale. And then, pakibalikan na lang yung problem 3. Ang answer natin dun, magkano na ibenta? 7 million ba? Okay, so 1.6 million yung gain on sale. And I'll prepare the entries on the board. 
ang answer natin sa number 3 is 2 million. Yung re-classify na revaluation surplus sa ano yun? Retained earnings. Nakikinig ba kanina, class? No? Nakikinig? Sa re-classify pag nabenta yung asset na merong related OCI? So, depende. May re-classify sa profit or loss. May re-classify sa retained earnings. No? Sige. Magpahinga muna kayo. I'll also do number 2 sa board. No? May isang, isa lang naman yung madadagdag na concept dyan. Okay. So, mag-rest muna kayo and paki-off uh, naman yung lights. No? Sabi ko. Biro lang. Yeah. Mag-break kayo. Okay, magtatrabaho.